Hello everybody, this is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. And today we're going to show you the start of our EMP room, or actually EMP closet for our batteries and our solar equipment. Now, I've been meaning to do this for a very long time because of the threat of uh, an EMP from Russia, China, uh, North Korea, even in uh, a coronal mass ejection from the sun, as you know, uh, we've been experiencing a lot of uh, X-class solar flares. Uh, the sun is uh, always uh, having sunspots and shooting out these filaments, these coronal mass ejections toward the earth, which uh, causes disruption. There was a large one called the Carrington event back in the 1800s. I think it was 1811, 1812, that actually melted... Uh, transmission lines and uh and knocked out a lot of stuff so our last video i showed you where we were going to use this black paint right here this is y shield hf 54 1.32 gallons and this is the same paint that the government of the united states fema homeland security uses to emp proof their buildings. This is about $250 a gallon. Some places you can get it uh, a little bit cheaper, but it says 1.3 gallons. So it's very, very expensive. This is a graphene based paint. It is black like pencil, like pencil lead. And what this does is it blocks uh, supposedly uh, electromagnetic frequencies uh, in EMP burst uh, very, very expensive. So I did a fundraiser probably a couple years ago and we raised about a thousand dollars, which only bought four gallons of this stuff. And people ask me, well, didn't you fix your house? Didn't you fix your house? Well, folks, I painted my living room ceiling. It took almost two gallons. So you got to put it on thick and you got to, uh, use at least two gallons of this stuff, uh, for the shielding effect. And then you have to ground the walls with a ground wire. So it's not just like painting your, uh, painting your walls. And if I was going to paint the outside of my house, I'm going to need about 15 gallons. So, you know, if you guys want to chip in and buy me 15 gallons, uh, a paint, you know, which is, I don't know, 10 times two, 2000, about $3,000 worth of paint. I, I would be happy to paint my house on the outside with it, but you know, I could only afford four gallons. You know, that's a thousand bucks for just four gallons. So I used about two gallons on our living room ceiling, which did help. It helped block uh, the EMP that was coming through our ceiling. And I had about two gallons left. So the rest of it I'm going to use on this. And I've, I've been, actually been meaning to do this for a very long time because I knew the threat of the um, of an EMP from a coronal mass injection, the Carrington event, and I wanted to move my battery bank. But you know, it's hard to move everything once it's already established and wired in. You got the wires on the wall. So maybe this is a blessing in disguise and I can get all this done uh, and protect my electronic equipment, my inverters, my charge controllers, uh, you know, some other electronics in this enclosure. And um, I just wanted to take a reading. This is, um, this is a a GQ EMF 380 meter. I don't know if you can see this right here on the bottom. Um, this is what I got from Amazon.com. This is a electromagnetic frequency uh, device. It reads electromagnetic frequencies. It reads electronic frequencies and RF frequencies. And so what I'm doing, um, I'm showing you the current levels. So once we get this all built and all the batteries and all the charge controllers and all that is installed, I want to take another reading and see if this actually is going to help. So as you can see right now, this is the graft, our background radiation, electronic field. They pulse this, folks, from the cell towers, whether you want to believe it or not. I've taken this device into our town I get the same readings outside, uh, you know, driving down the road, all the way in town, it pulses. So it's always either on medium or low. See, it's 5.1, 5.4, 5.2. It'll do steady for about a minute. 
And then after about a minute, they pulse the signal, which breaks your DNA chain up. So uh, this is the way they do it, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's always background signals coming in from cell towers, uh, from microwave emitters. Um, you know, even the, the 5G is putting out signals. So I just wanted to get a background reading. You can see the electronic frequencies here are zero. The RF, which is transmitting frequencies, is zero. So I wanted to get a, a baseline reading here today. But uh, this is the first start. So if any of you guys are interested in building an EMP shelter for your electronics, we're going to do this from scratch, folks. So you can see I've got a coat of black paint already. Already on the back wall. Now this wall connects to our kitchen. So I don't want any of this electronic frequencies, dangerous stuff going through the wall into the kitchen. So I'm doing a three layer deal. I have, I have the black paint. As you can see, I have aluminum foil right here. Aluminum foil. And then I have some silver, silver EMP cloth. You can buy this at Amazon.com. It's about $100 for a roll of it for i think it's like maybe 15 feet but the silver cloth right here see this is just a silver it's made with metal this is made with silver and nickel so this is a metal cloth and it blocks emp signals so i got the black graphene paint 250 dollars a gallon i have the aluminum foil tin foil whatever you want to call it and i have a third layer of the silver EMP cloth I'm putting on this wall. Now I'm gonna enclose this whole battery bank with the three layers, the paint, the silver, um, the tin foil and the EMP cloth. I'm gonna do the floor and then we're gonna put screen wire on the front of it, make it like a cage to keep the signals inside. So hopefully, when we come out and test this, once it's all done and the batteries are all hooked up, we will have the same, the same baseline readings on our meter here. And we won't have any uh, EMP signals getting through. That's the plan anyway. So if you ever wanted to build a Faraday cage to, um, you know, a larger enclosure, um, I'm going overboard. If, uh, if you know me, Everything I do, I do above and beyond what is required. This house was built um, more than code. This house is built more than code. Now, code is the building code that you, you know, the contractors use. Well, I built everything better than code. So um, everything I do, I do so I don't have to go back and do it again. So what I did here is I enclose my propane line with a cloth, with the um, with a tin foil behind it, and this is going to be a wall here. I'm going to frame out this wall with two befores, right? And you won't even see this because I'm going to put plywood on the front of it so I can mount my equipment. But this is going to be behind the wall, protecting everything from an EMP blast. A, uh, the electronic signals getting out and into the room. I also have to do the ceiling. So we're going to put uh, aluminum foil up. We're going to put the cloth. And then I'm going to paint the back of the drywall. So we're going to have three layers in the ceiling also. So to do a complete EMP proof um, enclosure, you have to be floor, ceiling, walls in the front you cannot have any open spaces and if you do have open spaces you have to have screen wire or a wire mesh in front to keep the signal sorry i'm out of breath folks i just walked downstairs and come back up so i just wanted to give you an update on our emp room i you know i really don't feel like doing this i haven't done a broadcast in about a week because of these headaches but um, I'm not going to let the devil kill me. You know, I know that's his plan because we preach the gospel on our program. We give altar calls. We help people, uh, you know, with their spiritual walk. 
uh, we give you the breaking news. We give you uh, the news unfiltered. We don't uh, lie on our channel. We try to give you the most accurate news. And, uh, you know, I've got enemies. The devil doesn't like me. And there's a lot of people that don't like me. But, you know, there's a lot of people that do like our channel. So this is an educational series. I'm just going to number these. This is building the EMP room. Uh, our last video, I told you I was going to put the black paint, the Y, y shield uh, HSF 54 paint with graphene, 250 bucks a gallon, Amazon. So this is still our baseline on our meter. The meter is a GQ EMF 380. About 150 bucks on Amazon.com. It reads electromagnetic signals. You can see where the power, um, you know, how your house is safe or if there's really bad areas in your house that you shouldn't sit or lay near. But I just wanted to get a baseline reading. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. We're going to try to get you a, a breaking news. You know, there's been a lot of news. Um, a new Chinese balloon has been flying Across the United States, they they uh, put some fighter jets up to chase it around. We have Russia moving in uh, on the front line in Ukraine. We have Israel continue bombing uh, the Hamas in the Gaza Strip. We have so many crazy things happening. We have the ATT, and uh, we had a huge cyber attack. A uh, coronal mass injection X-class flare took down a lot of the... Uh, cell phones the other day we have trump selling his tennis shoes uh the world is crazy folks and if you're not getting prepared well you're preparing to fail basically you know we've been at this for about 15 years and you just can't be a prepper uh overnight it takes years and years and years it takes a lot of experience to be able to do this and um i'm a contractor or was i've been uh fixing up houses for over 25 years. Uh, I own my own business. I uh, remodeled houses. I did uh, kitchen remodels, bathroom remodels. We put on roofs. We did cement. We did framing. We did drywall. We did everything, folks. I could build you a house, you know, if I felt better. So anyway, I've just got to pull myself together. I got to walk this headache off. I got to man up. I got to put on my big boy pants and get to work. You know, uh, I'd rather die standing up than in a bed, you know, moaning all my life. So I figure, you know, if it ain't going to get any better, I just got to go with it. You know, I got to roll with the punches. Um, I'm doing the best I can. And uh, I got to get this done. I got to get this battery bank moved because um, it's just unsafe. You know, you go down to the basement and you get all these high readings. And uh, I don't know if they're coming from the battery bank, but I know they're putting out a lot of EMF signals, but uh, I just want to be safe. So anyway, this is part one of building our uh, Faraday cage battery bank. Uh, we'll try to do a video every day updating you on the progress if I work. Um, I don't know if I'm going to work tomorrow. I'm going to see how much I can get done. So three layers, black graphene paint, tin foil, aluminum foil on the wall, and silver uh, cloth, silver zinc uh, metal cloth, EMP cloth. So God bless you. Remember, Jesus Christ loves you. He's coming back soon. Don't be caught dead without him. Bye-bye.